Williams Creek is extremely important in the Applegate watershed because it is a main tributary. It has cold water and habitat up in the upper forks and it has lamprey, it has coho, it has chinook, it has steelhead, it has all the species that are in the Applegate watershed. This site is less than a mile from the confluence with the Applegate. They would basically bring heavy equipment in and push gravel up and create a three-foot dam across the creek. It's a tried and true method of getting water into your ditch during the irrigation season. But one of the bad things that it does is keep fish from moving freely up and down the system when they want to. To replace the push-up dam, we constructed a roughened channel, which is basically a series of boulder ribs and some stream bed material. So it builds up the elevation of the creek over a longer distance rather than having a jump for fish. It looks more like a natural stream as well. And so that also works for the irrigators because it builds up that water surface elevation and allows them to be able to divert the correct amount of water. This is the weir that they put in in the project. It used to be just kind of a big open ditch here. And now, as you can see, it's like a fully uh, engineered weir system. And then it has the opening there that we can open and close as much or as little as we need. We've gone from three to four hours to get the water, and now it's getting to us in about 15 to 20 minutes. For me, that's, that's a huge change. And I just know that we're not losing water along the way because it's piped the whole way. By providing a means of the water getting across this creek, Williams Creek, and being drawn from Williams Creek without having to do an annual push-up dam was a huge advantage because now fish, uh, juveniles especially, can seek out the temperatures that they need at the time they need them. That's one of the biggest things about this project that I'm excited about is just knowing that there's that labor saving, that we don't have to spend the time and the money to go in there and build the push-up dam, but also then the environmental concern. The Watershed Council really likes to look for projects where there's multiple beneficiaries. So this was a big win for fish because we we're able to provide fish passage, but we're also able to upgrade their irrigation system. So we're able to put in a new head gate and put in three quarters of a mile of piping in their ditch, which reduced their maintenance and allowed them to be able to receive the water that they need to grow crops especially for blue fox farms and whistling duck. They're both small organic farms in the valley. This project has been so beneficial because it's an example that we can provide to the water users that are upstream and downstream. We're just here to build community if we can and just inform landowners and work with landowners and determine what landowners need to improve their landscape. One of the big benefits of the project was that there's a couple other fish passage barriers on Williams Creek and we are looking at developing those projects further. We're able to make connections with some of the landowners and irrigators through this project and so that's opened the door for us to work on Watts Topping which is the next dam upstream which is a more severe concrete barrier. When a partner, like the Applegate Partnership, comes in and says, we're developing a consensus and a partnership, and we need you as a piece of it, that's a lot more understandable for BLM's structure and management. They've really asked me and the other landowners what they needed and wanted and didn't like and did like throughout the whole process so the communication has been really good and so it's been a I, I would call it a true community effort for sure. There's a channel on Williams Creek and there's a rough channel through the side channel as well. So yeah.
Working with partner organizations is really important because uh, what that gives us is the uh, ability to affect a larger landscape. Our long-term vision is to be able to have fish passage throughout the Williams Creek watershed and we'd like to address the other fish passage barriers on Williams Creek in the future while providing irrigation water to the area.